Hello everyone and welcome back to the next video in this tutorial series on using Adobe Edge Animate. So today what I want to talk to you about is embedding YouTube videos into your Adobe uh, Edge Animate projects, okay? And uh, about a little bit of a bug or a workaround that you will encounter at this time when using Firefox. And I do say at this time because everything's always changing with these browsers and we're in this browser war with compatibility right now. And um, if you recall from my previous tutorials on using HTML5 video and audio and having to create multiple formats, uh, the browser war becomes pretty apparent, okay? Now, one that we're having at this moment is that embedded YouTube videos do not work in Firefox, but they work beautifully in Chrome and uh, Safari and iOS devices, but they're not working in Firefox. And so I found a workaround for it, and I wanna talk about that. So anyway, first off, let me show you the uh, project before the workaround, okay? Now, where I got this, okay, I'm at our principlesofinteractivemedia.com website. Now, I have this tutorial right here. And by the way, this tutorial series right here, this Adobe Easy, it is, it's some seriously good tutorials. So I recommend going through every single one of them. Okay, now, this tutorial here, and there's several others online, and if you do a search on how to embed YouTube videos into Adobe Edge Animate Projects, you're gonna come up with the same exact technique with the same code, and it works great in everything but Firefox, and that is totally unacceptable. However, it's what we have. So, um, okay, so let me show you. Um, everything that's laid out in this tutorial right here and many others that you'll find, um, give you this, okay? And this works, okay? Um, well, when I say this, what I mean is this bit of JavaScript right here, okay? And um, this works just fine. We're just missing a couple of things that make this work in uh, Firefox. So anyway, um, let's see here. What I did is I, I drew this little world out in Adobe Illustrator and then just animated some of the properties, okay? And I'm, I'll give you a version of this to download and I'll stick it right on our Principles of Interactive Media website right here. And you can download this and actually, you know, cut and paste the JavaScript and actually see some of the other things that I did on here. For example, I made my clouds loop so you can see how to loop a symbol. And then I've got some, you know, audio interaction and mouse over interaction and whatnot as well. So it's just something that you can see how I put it all together. Okay, now, in the techniques that you will find on doing this online, It'll tell you to create a placeholder rectangle the same size as your YouTube video. In my case, uh, I embedded a YouTube video that I wanted to be 560 by 315 pixels. So that's what I had to make this rectangle, okay? And then you have to make that a symbol, okay? So it is a symbol, okay? And if I double click on that and go in and view this symbol, there it is, okay, right there. Now, um, this works, okay? And basically, you just create this placeholder right here. And then uh, the JavaScript is saying, go ahead and embed that video right over that spot, right there, 560 by 315. But this works on everything except for uh, Chrome, or except for Firefox. Um, so let's go ahead and preview in a browser locally on my machine, which will work. That now will work in Firefox. That'll work in Chrome, that'll work in Firefox, whatever. For some reason, it's when you actually put it on the internet live under uh, a domain, then Firefox won't read it, okay? So you could maybe test this out and think, oh, it totally works, and then put it on your website and it's not gonna work. But um, anyway, I'll go ahead and preview this so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, and there we go. So I'm viewing this in Chrome locally on my machine and it's working as it should. I hover over my trees and they spin. Okay, and then of course I've got clouds that are looping, all right? It's not just like a hundred feet of clouds moving, it's just this little bit right here. And then the animation just loops, okay? So you can actually see the triggers that I use to make that happen when you download this project. Um, also, if I come over here to my rabbit and I click on him, he squeaks and all the trees spin, okay? But the coolest part here is that this uh, YouTube video uh, is embedded right here and it works just fine. However, as I said before, this will not work live on Firefox. You'll either come up with a blank spot here, a black window, or if you're lucky, you'll get the, the cover photo to work, but if you press play, nothing will happen, okay? Now, um, this works on everything except for Firefox. So I found a workaround just searching online on the Adobe forums and I did come up with this workaround. Um, you know, I actually just found somebody else that suggested it and there you go. Um, actually, it was kind of a collaborative effort there between a lot of different uh, forum posters on the Adobe forums. Anyway, 
So same project exactly, just a little bit different change in the code right here. You have to add this empty right here, okay? And then in my video symbol, notice that it's blank, right? I actually deleted that rectangle and then added another little rectangle up here in the corner and just turn the opacity all the way down, okay? And what this does is that um, there's a little bug that can apparently pop up sometimes if you have a blank symbol that a browser won't be able to read it. So you do wanna put something in the symbol, okay? So the placeholder is still saying right here is where you're gonna embed that video, but it's not being blocked anymore by that rectangle, okay? All right, and if you're confused at all about what I'm talking about, just go through this uh, tutorial right here or any of the other ones that you find and get it to work and you'll realize it works on every browser but Firefox and then this workaround makes it work, okay? And again, you can download this project and see exactly what I did, cut and paste and all that good stuff, okay? So just to prove that this works, what I have is, let's see, where's my Firefox? I actually have a version of it, check it out. This is not being run locally on my, my machine. I uploaded this to my web server. So it's at principlesofinteractivemedia.com slash rabbit underscore tube. This is the folder that I just put it in. Slash rabbit underscore TV dot HTML. That's this right here, rabbit underscore TV dot HTML. Now, this is actually live on the internet. On your phone, on your iPad, or on your desktop, you can actually go to this web address right here, okay? Slash rabbit underscore tube, slash rabbit underscore TV dot HTML, and this will be on there. Notice this is in Firefox, and I have my YouTube embedded. My clouds are looping, my uh, trees are moving, okay? And see, I've got some easing on those trees and stuff too. So take a look at the project and see the few different little things that I did on here. And then if I, uh, you know, click my rabbit here, it squeaks and it, uh, for some reason, his squeak makes all the trees spin, okay? And then, of course, I have a YouTube here. And this is the major point of this little tutorial is that the YouTube works. Okay, enough of that. Now, um, I said this also works on uh, iPads and iPhones. So let me go ahead and cut to uh, my iPad and my iPhone and show you that I actually have this YouTube working with all the interaction and everything all working right in the palm of your hand. So um, check this out. Okay, so here we go, as promised. So I have my iPad and I'm just accessing a uh, my website live on the internet and it is playing. Okay, I have my animations. Um, you can see the clouds, let's move the clouds down. There's my clouds moving. Of course, if I click on my rabbit, it does squeak and jump. And then I have my video here. All right. Also do full screen on that. Yep. Okay, so that works. Okay, and I wanna show you on the iPhone as well. Okay, so anyway, uh, as you can see, the animation is playing, the clouds are looping. If I click on my little rabbit, it squeaks and jumps. And then if I press play on this, I can actually play this. And of course it opens it up in the YouTube app because that's how iPhones work. So anyway, there you go. I've got a uh, web page live on the internet and I am have my own custom animated YouTube player that is playing on the iPad, on the iPhone, and uh, desktop Firefox, okay? And of course it works on Chrome because everything seems to work fine on Chrome. But anyway, um, well there you go, have fun with that.